Hi, my name's Owen Doros and I'm from Kings Meadows High School. Today we're here with James from Bitlink. Let's go have a chat. James, what's your role here at Bitlink? Um, so I'm the managing director of Bitlink. What does a typical day look like? I don't know if we actually have typical days. Um, so Bitlink is a company that's changed a lot over a, a long period of time. We've done software development, we've done technology consulting. These days we do a lot of education programs with kids. So um, it's really hard to pin down a typical day for me or for anyone else that works in Bitlink. And I think that that's something that happens with a lot of technology companies. In fact, the, because things move so quickly and change so much, there's not really a typical day. What's your favourite part of working in the tech industry? So there are lots of really exciting things about working in the tech industry. Um, one of the big ones is just the pace of change and the way things move really quickly. So tech people will go from an idea, um, something doesn't even exist yet, and they'll use programming and hardware and electronics and, and a whole heap of different skills to build something to make people's lives better or entertain them or educate them or whatever. And that's what I love. I love being around creative people inventing things. What are some of the opportunities in the industry that people may not realise? In terms of just the next few years, one of the really big opportunities is going to be virtual reality. So if people are interested in game design and that sort of stuff, they should definitely be looking at VR. Because if you look back kind of a couple of years to when our smartphones first came on the scene, and you look at all of the app stores and the different things that kind of sprung up around smartphones, um, you can expect to see that same sort of thing over the next five to 10 years happening with virtual and augmented reality. What experience in education do you have? In high school I was really into video games and I really uh, wanted to be a game designer. So that's kind of normal, a lot of tech people are like that. But I was really interested in the design side, I wasn't as interested in programming and, and the more technical side of things. And so uh, what I did is I went to university and I studied the arts and the humanities because I looked at the game designers that I really respected and I looked at what they'd studied and I found a lot of them had arts degrees. So basically I studied philosophy at university, but then I had an opportunity to get involved with some stuff that was happening at the university down at the School of Computing. Um, and so I went down there and I got involved with a new lab that was setting up and that was really what set me on my path. So I suppose um, it's kind of, it's a very unusual path to go from philosophy into the tech industry, but um, you know, you, when you dig into the tech industry, you'll find there are people there from all kinds of different backgrounds. So who's suited to something like this? It suits a lot of different people. So if you are able to concentrate and you're able to really dig into a problem and you can keep big complex things in your head at, the, at one time, so like if you're interested in science and maths and that sort of stuff, then becoming a programmer is a really great pathway. If you're interested in art and you're interested in creation, you know, creating things and telling stories and that sort of stuff, then you can be a designer in the tech industry and that's something that you can look into. Um, if you're a bit like me and you actually kind of like working with people, you like getting projects together, you like building teams, then you can become a manager in the tech industry. Um, and then outside of those three major groups, there's thousands of other things that you can do in the tech industry as well. What pathways should someone look at that wants to get into the tech industry? The key thing that you find is not what they studied at school and not what they did um, in kind of formal education. It's what they were really passionate about. So they found things that excited them and they pursued those things. And so what they did is they studied the things at university that were really interesting to them, or they you know, built video games in their bedrooms at home when they um, probably should have been doing homework. But the thing with the tech industry is you just really have to love it. Like you have to be excited about creation, you have to be excited about doing things. So um, if you are interested in being in the tech industry, but you're also really passionate about photography, do a bit of photography as well. You know, the tech industry thrives because people have multiple skills that they can bring to bear on any given problem. Thanks James, today's been great to get an insight into the tech industry. Hopefully it gives students a better idea of what to expect and what pathways to look into.